friends <coughs> eventually what is your desire is that you grow in life and in that regard there are several factors that are factored into it shall we look at the factors that help in your future growth number 1 you must because now the world is flat so said martin friedman the world is coming to us indians they realize are a very good potential possible people from whom they can draw rich talent pool when foreign companies multinational companies come to india to recruit the prime focus of them will be the english language the english language is a fantastic medium of communication but then you must put in the requisite effort to build in the required repertoire to make yourself a wonderful speaker after all speech is the medium by which you are recognized and by which you connect with another individual there are certain rules that govern the art of speaking first as far as a male is concerned a deep powerful voice has its own benefit and it has its own potential second nobody likes to hear criticism a critic is one as you realize who absolves himself of his own irresponsibility by projecting on to those who are making an effort so therefore we all although we say a, a, a true critic is one who will criticize in private and praise in public today's world nobody wants a critic nobody in any team matter whatsoever you one wouldn't like to be criticized individually we can look into our introspect into ourselves and build our team our career our pathway so therefore never ever criticize the second thing you must realize in the art of communication is never ever comment about a third party or repeat a third party comment you should never talk about somebody else you can talk about you or if i am communicating with you i can talk about you but do not talk about a third party nor repeat a third party comment the third thing that you must very clearly understand is acknowledging accepting and then praising everybody wants to be praised everybody wants to be recognized so everybody wants an individual who not criticizes but praises and do that in a manner that is acceptable that does not put the other person at any unease and do that in a genuine way identify potential areas in which this per- the other person is accomplished accept his accomplishment and lastly praise that is what charles schwab did he was hearty in his praise and lavish in his approbation everybody wants their recognition and their work to be accepted praised and uh, honored and that is what you should do and that is what takes you to the next level and makes you an accepted individual in a team you know team together everybody achieves more which means if you are part of a team then you achieve more however what you should not do is critically comment about your chief your team leader your boss your head of department your organization or your team members and do not pass rumors and comments about them anywhere why because we do know this aphorism which for long has has existed and that is loose lips sink ships silence is golden and as a consequence if at all you want to communicate make sure that what you talk is positive if you are not in a position to talk positively do not comment at all keep your mouth shut that is something most people will not have the courage to tell you but let me make it very clear that if you need to criticize or find fault or tell that you are hurt you directly need to go to the individual and express your feelings why should you express your feelings recently there was a study done amongst uh, dying people you know what they looked at they looked at what are the top 10 regrets of the dying and one of which is i wish i had the courage to express my feelings feelings are something that will gurgle inside and if not given the due expression can manifest in so many unpleasant ways it can hurt your blood pressure your sugar your asthma your skin well if you have some ill feelings about anything it is rather better to go up to the individual reconcile and then express your feelings and say that you are genuinely hurt and, and then patch up because patching up and and going forward and building a great friendship is the hallmark to glory so consequently therefore in your speaking techniques number 1 recognize an individual the moment you have a visual sight many many of us feel that we will pretend we have not seen the other person and as a consequence we develop a wall between each other the first thing that you do that when you meet another individual from the periphery of your vision you exactly replicate a dog do you know what a dog does and is it for you a wonder 
that a dog when spelt backwards is god dogs manifest what genuine affection can be a dog's love is absolutely unconditional the moment a dog even sniffs wherever in his vicinity or sees you wherever it will come bounding out of love and hug you caress you and then have slurps of kisses on its cheek that is the genuine love and that is what a dog does and that's what we should do too the moment we say see somebody whom we know go up to the individual acknowledge and ask about their well being second make sure that you maintain eye contact and do not talk negatively talk only positive if you're not in a position to talk positive keep your silence and then go on with your life so consequently acknowledge ac- acceptance grat- gratitude and acquiescence are essential and integral to the building of a personality if somebody has helped you somewhere in some manner it is your duty to write at least a thank you note and graciously thank the individual for the good that they have done because a letter of acknowledgement and gratitude is a lasting memoir that many of us will cherish and uh, r- record and keep it in our book of memories and lastly as far as uh, your uh, work goes make sure that you do not talk about your organizational inner secrets to anybody whatsoever at all and in that regard these are the fundamental traits that are essential in effective communication third is your delivery many of us come from places which have a linguistic influence in the way we speak and if that is so you need to put in the requisite effort every day spend 5 minutes on building up your word influence and repertoire and how you deliver it you may be a little off track because your mother tongue influences it but you need to keep in the requisite practice look at websites that offer the techniques of pronunciation build a single word a day build on epistemology which is the extent of knowledge and build on etymology which is how these words came into being and build a vast knowledge about various things and in that regard eventually become a walking encyclopedia of knowledge go the extra mile because he who goes the extra mile is always recognized and given the due r- gratitude as well as the promotion that of individual so richly recognized i'll give you a few examples of words that you never would have dreamt how they came into being do you know why the american dollar s with the two lines across it why the symbol came from because s notifies the place where the original american dollar which is this taylor was manufactured it was manufactured in a valley which was bounded by two mountains and these are signified by taylor s the letter s and the two mountains are signified by the two lines that cross the s that is the origin of the american dollar sign if you ask anybody including a banker they will not know do you know why the letter the word for purity of gold is carrot because originally the ca- tree of the the carob tree the seeds are all equal in its weightage you can't fool anybody because all the seeds around the world have the same weight and when you say 24 carat it is 24 seeds they have the absolute constant weight and because it came from the seeds of the carob tree we now have what is called carrot do you know why a person should wear a tie with lines across well originally the chief of the tribal kingdom the tribal chief he need to show his prowess as a warrior and to tell the community listen i am strong enough to protect you well what did he do he took a sheep skin and whenever he killed an animal he drew the sword across his sheep skin and as a consequence of that there would be a line across so the many lines across is a reflection of the possibility that this guy has killed enough number of animals and he is physically fit to defend the tribe so like that there are so many things which have percolated into the field of english which makes it so wonderful and interesting for us to know that this is how these words came into being but you need to put in the requisite effort have a separate book on word meanings and write in that the meaning of how these words came into being and then look through it at least once a month review all these things because in a period of time you will have a wonderful compendium of words second you must be in a position to deliver sentences you will read hundreds of novels wonderful sentences in which which you find them take them write it in a separate book and memorize it and if you memorize hundreds of sentences at the required time these words will simply pop into your consciousness from the inner recesses of your subconscious mind and then when you compile an essay or a talk or deliver a, a speech 
people will look at you in awe and wonder how this individual is able to do all that without pain they can they cannot be pain gain without pain no pain no gain through the thorns to the stars and the more effort that you put in you are always rewarded do not expect an extraordinary reward for a minimal effort you know what is the rule of nature the rule of nature is only 10% if you put in 100% effort you will get 10% gain which means if you want to achieve something big that is the amount of effort that you need to put in and when once you put in the required effort and sincerely work towards your goal the forces of the universe will conspire to make your dream come true that is the power of the universe provided you do not have the intention to take advantage of another there is only one rule that you should live by and that is do unto others what you would have others done unto you and if you live by that one golden rule i repeat again the forces of nature will conspire to make your dream come true and in that regard this is what the earth is meant for and this is what nature expects you to do so the more you are helpful as an individual the more you contribute to the growth of society the more you work and build your own inner capacity and ability the more you will eventually evolve as a trusted respected wonderful pillar of the society god bless good luck thank you